<laughs> here we have a nice pound cake with lemon zest all over. Very nice, nice presentation here. Today, we are letting you try celebrities' favorite holiday foods, and you'll have to try and guess whose it is. Oh, okay. okay. How's your celeb knowledge? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any of these right. I'm very competitive. Doesn't mean I'm good at guessing. Okay. Oh. This looks amazing. Smells oh my wonderful. god. So up first we have the Ain't No Jive Herbed Turkey and Gravy. The secret to this dish lies in a magical compound butter and homemade orange infused gravy. Orange infused? Compound butter is something else. I love oranges. Just oranges in general. It smells citrusy. Oh. I gotta get some of the gravy in here. Mmm. This is this is something bougie. Like mm -hmm. this is this is someone who has the time. For the holidays, I bag everything up and I eat it <laughs> the days after because I don't like people seeing me eat. <laughs> you know this is a food <laughs> YouTube channel, right? Hello. I think I like the gravy. I think that's what I yeah. like about it. Yeah, the gravy on top because mashed potatoes are mashed potatoes, but so whose dish do you think this is? Is it A. Billie Eilish? B. Snoop Dogg, or C. Mr. Beast. Yes. I feel like if Mr. Beast made this, I would have heard about it. Because I don't see any hemp seeds on here, I'm not gonna say Snoop Dogg. But, yeah. You know. <laughs> okay, you know what? Snoop Dogg is friends with Martha Stewart. All right. Snoopy Snoop. You both said Billy. In general, this seems like uh, just a very family meal. Maybe it's just me. I don't. I just feel like. Snoop is very family oriented. Why do you think it's Billie Eilish? <laughs> it's just the I said, dart throw. This is total dart throw here. Well, Snoop Dogg is BFFs with Martha Stewart, and this feels like such a Martha Stewart meal. The girl is unique, so her meal has to be unique. You are both correct. Woo! Well, damn. Okay. Let's go. This is from Snoop Dogg's cookbook, From Crook to Cook, and is a must-make new holiday recipe. <laughs> Really? From crook to cook? Mm. Oh. Cookies. Okay, so we're thinking of baker. Next up, we have cookies with a special twist. Uh, chai tea and eggnog. Hell yeah. That sounds awesome. I love eggnog. I think the celebrity chef is actually Nicole, to tell you the truth. Getting nice notes of cookie. Oh, that was a soft break. Whoa. Wow. That's nice. Mm. On Christmas, this would be so good. This is literally like it smells and it tastes like Christmas. I normally don't like sweet things that much. This is very good. Well, it's not too sweet. It's not. Just watch me eat the whole thing because I'm going to eat up both these things. That is nice. That's that's really good. Yeah. Now I'm trying to think of celebrities that bake. So which celeb do you think loves making these cookies? Mm. Is it A, Taylor Swift, B, Little Nas X, or C, Selena Gomez? <laughs> Oh God! I, I want like, it to be Lil Nas X, yeah. but I don't think it is. <laughs> Maybe Selena. Does Taylor got it like that. Mm. Who likes eggnog? Yeah. Lil Nas X. Oh. Taylor got it like that. I feel like. Well, I feel like she's very into the holiday. Um, just because he does the Uber Eats commercials. Eh, maybe it's a bit obvious that it's Taylor Swift. I wanted to go with Selena Gomez. You are both correct. Let's go. Oh my god. Damn. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's... <laughs> this is actually her recipe for chai sugar cookies with a cinnamon eggnog icing. She whipped these up for the 1989 Secret Sessions event that she threw. If it just wasn't so sweet, I would, I would just be eating these all day. These are really good. <laughs> yeah, take the plate. So I'm eating this cookie. <laughs> oh, speaking yeah. of tamales. Yeah. Tamales are awesome. So a tasty holiday tradition are delicious homemade tamales. These are filled with chili and pork. Tamales. Oh my god, it's like Christmas morning. This <laughs> is so good. I don't think you can go wrong with tamales. Mm -mm. <laughs> it is insanely good. We'll just keep eating. Don't worry about <laughs> us. We're fine. My family hates this word, but the tamales are very moist. <laughs> This is really good. Does it beat my grandma's? Maybe not. Wow, this is better than my grandma's. Don't tell her that. Uh -huh. Is it A, comedian Hassan Minaj, B, Mario Lopez, or C, Cardi B? Wow, those are all over the spectrum there. Or I need more time to think, so I'll keep eating. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna go out, out on a limb here. I feel like I'm going with the obvious answer here, so. You might be right. Yeah. Did I have right? Cardi B? So. I'm wondering with Cardi. 
I went with Mario Lopez. You know. I mean, he's really family oriented. True. When it comes to Thamanas in the holiday season, you make them with your family. True. Like I don't know who Mario Lopez is. <laughs> <laughs> It is actually Mario Lopez. No! Yes, all right. Lopez. Oh, no! Good job. Mario's favorite is his grandmother's chili pork tamale, which they make every holiday season and give out to friends and family. Oh, that is That's very so good, cute. Mr. Lopez. Thank you. So pretty. I'm getting a hint of lemon. This is an amaretto pound cake with a lemon glaze. Mm. I can smell like the amaretto a little bit. Mm. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was good. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> you don't like citrus, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Give me your best British Bake Off uh, analysis. Here we have a nice pound cake with lemon zest all over. Very nice, nice presentation here. I, I don't it's think not my favorite. A, yeah, I don't think it's... I need a lot of this. It warms the taste buds, really gives you a nice feel of the holiday season. And overall, the glaze is like just top tier. I think it's good. Is it A, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, <laughs> B, Shay Mitchell, or C, Aisha Curry? I'm gonna do some safe answers. I can see Aisha Curry making this. She wants to be super bougie all the time. I feel like she's got like bougie vibes with like the flowers and stuff. I just think her personality kind of reflects this dessert. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll make it. There you go. <laughs> An avid cook, Aisha Curry, loves baking Let's this go. up at the holidays. Good job! Yeah. Woo! I knew That's it. not fun. That's that. This is one of her favorite holiday recipes, and it's the perfect combination of sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It really is. You know why I know? Because she's another cooking celebrity. <laughs> why is everyone a cooking celebrity? <laughs> Very nice. A matzo? <laughs> covering all the bases today. The best cure for any sniffles is a big bowl of matzo ball soup. I've never had a matzo ball before. <laughs> I've never had matzo ball soup. This is very good. It's never chicken noodle soup, it's matzo ball soup. Really? It's just, I love matzo ball soup. This is so good. I could definitely eat this on a cold night. This is my first time ever having it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Good. The, the taste isn't bad, it's just the texture. It's a little bit hard to put down. Yeah, I would eat this like, if I was sick. I love the texture. I, I think it's very fun. I don't know what the soup is, but the soup is good. I love yeah. soup. Who loves to whip up matzo ball soup at the holidays? Is it A, Gwyneth Paltrow, mm -hmm. B, Nick Jonas, or C, Kylie Jenner? My. I feel like this isn't weird enough for Gwyneth Paltrow. This one's tricky. Who do you think it is? Second one. Yeah. yeah. Boom. I am guessing that's what's going on. I'm not even thinking at this point. Hmm. Just as far as holiday foods go, I wouldn't think that this would be Kylie's choice. Well, this is Kylie Jenner's. What? Wow. Really? No wow. way. She's a huge fan of this soup and even shares her recipe for it on Instagram. What in the world? Oh is my this? god. Damn. This is sizable. So finally, we have a warm and gooey cinnamon bread that is out of this world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, wow. Mm. I can feel my pores clogging with sugar. <laughs> that is really good. I wouldn't even share this with anyone. It's like your own bread. It's good. I really like this. Baking bread always is like a little more involved than like a pound cake. Yeah, I could do a nice little curl with this. <laughs> I love it, but I don't think I could eat the whole thing in the sitting. This is not bad. I could happily eat this. It whole kind thing. of tastes like a croissant. Do we think this is A, Dolly Parton, B, Ryan Reynolds, or C, Beyonce? Interesting options. Beyonce is. There's no way. I want it to be Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Free guy. Southern type cooking. Yeah. Like it feels like it, it feels homey. So it is an O. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> I think Ryan Reynolds wins over any man's heart, including mine. So, um. <laughs> this dish is actually famous at Dollywood. Oh! It's Dolly oh. Oh. No. I wanted it to be Ryan Reynolds. This bread is her recipe, but it is famously served at Dollywood, her theme park mm. in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I, love I that. did not know she had a, a theme park. You didn't know that? Dolly World. Very nice. I want to go so badly. It looks so fun. Warm, 
nice, comforting dishes. I think that's what holiday dishes should be. So, unfortunately, you guys didn't win today. But we did win. We <laughs> did. You guys tied for our win with four points each. Let's take those. And as winners, we will send you home with all the leftovers. <laughs> Amazing. That is a lot of That's... food. To I'll share just, with friends I'll in eat. the holidays. I, I'm not sharing this. Like, I, this is all mine. I have no friends. Okay. <laughs> Tubby's full taste buds are happy. Yeah, I'm gonna yes. have to go to the bathroom after this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, TMI. <laughs> la 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 la. la. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Did you enjoy the celebrity food challenge? Let us know and let us know what other challenges you want to see. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow People vs. Food. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Happy, happy holidays. holidays. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs>